Hey y'all, it's Lethal Smith. Thanks so much for tuning into my video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I blend my hair with my curly extensions and define my curls. I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this to this. I am using my Raw Burmese Curly Hair from my site, Lethal Units, and it has been constructed into a half wig, flip over wig, which I also have posted on the site. I also posted a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how I constructed this flip over wig. If you are a DIY girly like me, definitely go check that out. Burmese Curly Hair is definitely type four hair friendly. Like, look at that blend. Just look at it unclockable now the thing that i love most about this flip over unit is it has clips so i'm simply going to remove this give her a nice co-wash to find the curl then while she dries i'm gonna tend to my leave out now i am not doing a full wash i'm doing a simple co-wash wet the hair apply the conditioner detangle it comb it through and then rinse it out I did a full wash a couple of days ago. I do full washes with raw hair once a week. That's pretty much the standard when it comes to raw hair, period, because you don't wanna have product build up in the hair. When it comes to raw curly hair, I do a full wash every week, and then I do co-washes throughout the week as needed. I might do one or two within the week. When caring for raw hair, the main thing you wanna focus on is moisture, adding that moisture back into the hair. Because again, this is unprocessed hair, right? It's raw. So you wanna make sure you're giving that moisture back into it, which is why we wash and we co-wash our bundles. If y'all want like a raw hair wash day routine, let me know, comment below, and I will definitely get on that for you guys. As for what I'm using in this video, as far as co-washing, I'm using a conditioner that I will be adding to the site soon. I've been trying it out and I absolutely love it. I've been trying it for probably like nine months now and I absolutely love it. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect before adding to the site, but I will be doing that soon. But if you're looking for a good product to use on your raw hair right now, um, anything with moisture, anything that is focused on adding moisture back to the hair. Once you have applied the conditioner to the hair and you are detangling it, y'all, this is curly hair. This is textured hair, right? Start at the ends and work your way up to the roots, okay? That is how you properly detangle. That's how you avoid too much shedding. Okay, so now that my hair is all co-washed and detangled, I'm gonna pop it on one of my mannequin heads here and add some mousse. I'm using a lot of body foam. Everything I use will be linked in my Amazon storefront and I'll leave that link below. But add the mousse, give it a good brush, and then I'm gonna just let this air dry while I work on my leave out. Next, I like to hot comb my edges before I put in my flexi rods. This is totally optional if you wanna do um, no heat at all, you definitely can. When I'm going for a bigger, poofier look, I don't hot comb my edges, but since I'm going for a more calm, defined curl look, I am gonna hot comb them. Okay, so I sectioned off my hair, and then I wet the ends with some water. I'm very mindful that I just hot comb my edges, so I'm only gonna focus my product on the ends of my hair because my hair will revert if I put it on my edges or on my roots. Next, I'm gonna add some foam. And then after that, I'm gonna add some curl gel. Again, all of these products will be linked below in my Amazon storefront. And then I'm gonna use five really skinny flexi rods. Now, I got this out of a assorted pack. It went from very small to the biggest ones. I recommend getting that one instead of just getting a million skinny ones because you can do more with it. So I'm gonna roll each piece in a backwards motion away from my face. And as I'm wrapping it around, I'm kind of spacing it out a little bit so that the curl can be longer. So the closer you wrap it, the tighter the curl. If you space it out while wrapping it, you'll get a looser curl. And I just repeat the same thing for the other four pieces until I'm done. Now, if you want a no heat method, you can definitely do this part of rolling up your leave out at night and then sleep on it in the morning, it'll be dry. But if you're okay with a little heat and you got somewhere to be, you can definitely uh, do this part and then sit under a hooded dryer for like two hours. Sitting under the dryer also gives me less frizz. 
once I take them out. But I absolutely hate sitting under the dryer, so most of the time I just do the overnight method. Okay, we are all done. I'm gonna go sit under the dryer for two hours, like I said before. Then I'll be back to show you guys my method of blending my hair with the rest of my curly extensions. One eternity later. Okay, so my flip over wig is completely dry and so is my leave out. I'm just gonna pop her on and then we can get to blending. First things first, I'm gonna put a little oil on my hands before I start taking down my curls. The oil is gonna add a little shine and minimize frizz. Once I take out my flexi rods, I'm gonna go ahead and separate each curl. Okay, and now I'm just showing you guys the curl that I achieved with this process. It's literally perfect, look at it. Okay, so now we're gonna go through and separate each of my natural curls, right? And we're gonna take a piece of that natural curl and intertwine it with one of the curls on the wig. Okay, so I take those two pieces and I twist them around each other maybe three or four times. Enough to get the curls intertwined, but not too much to where it looks like a noticeable twist. And I just keep doing that until every piece of my leave out is intertwined with my extension because you know we, we we're not like those other girls you know we're very demure very mindful very cutesy we want our hair to blend you know we don't want our leave out looking left out like those other girls right we want it to look natural we want people to think this came out of our scalp i don't like for people to ask me where i got my wig from off back i like for people to ask me first is that a wig and then when I say yes, then I want them to ask where I got my wig from. You know, very demure, very demure. And here's another view of me just intertwining my hair with the extensions. Like, look at that curl. That curl is perfect. And I'm just twisting one, two, three, four, boom, perfect. You cannot tell me that's not my hair. Mm. But yeah, after that, I'm just gonna swoop my edges up, you know, real cute. And then just to add, just to dry it a little bit more and add a little more body, I'm gonna diffuse it just a little bit. Not too much, cause I did want that, you know, very calm, very defined look. I don't want it to get big. But yes, this is a flip over unit for a reason. Flip that hole to the left, flip that hole to the right. Whatever you want to do is versatile. I love how defined the curls get with minimal products. Like I literally used water and mousse on the bundles. And then I used uh, water, mousse, and curl gel for my hair. But I don't put a lot of product on my raw hair at all. And I love that it turns out perfect each and every time. And don't forget, this is Burmese curly hair, raw, heavy on the raw, because people be selling fake raw hair. Let's get into it. I should make a video about that. But it's raw Burmese curly hair from Lethal Units. I'm wearing 18, 20, 22, 24, 24 inch unit. Yeah. And I can do a nice low pony, nice low bun. If I had leave out at the back, which I don't, I would be able to do a higher pony if I had it like around the perimeter of the back, but I don't because I didn't want all that out. But that's definitely an option if you want to go that route. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for me. Love you forever. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see. Hair is from Lethal Units. It'll be linked in my bio. Products will be linked as well. Amazon storefront. Yeah, I love you guys. Bye.
Tell me what you see in me.